describe the performance as uh, uh, Tommy Emmanuel meets James Taylor with a dash of Dick Van Dyke. Uh, a, a great folk music promoter in uh, New Jersey, Mike Agronoff, who's, who's kind of a, a crusty old dude. He wouldn't mind me saying that because he takes pride in it. He said, Jacob, that performance was a lot of cheap tricks and a lot of very expensive tricks. And I, I thought that was uh, another good way of, of putting it. I think at this point, one thing that most people probably don't know about me is that I was homeschooled, never went to public school. Uh, and also I'm bad at multitasking, which people would probably be surprised to know, given what I do on stage. <laughs> I have no idea, man. Playing music is the only grown-up job I've ever had. Uh, when I was in high school, all I did was play guitar. I played in a band. We did like, you know, the Wild Wing Circuit. And we weren't like on the road all the time, but you know, you do like one or two of those a month as a 16 year old kid and get 125 bucks. That's a part-time job. Um, music is all I've ever done. Um, I guess, uh, oh man. Uber driver, I don't know. I have no marketable skills other than playing the guitar. Uh, I think I think people should be politically active. Um, I think mixing politics and arts can get a little dicey. I think that it's good for art to make people think but I think it's bad for art to tell people what to think. And I think that's the really dicey line between art that maybe has political undertones and, you know, propaganda, which is not cool. My contribution to that is giving people a shared experience um, uh, and reminding, r reminding people that we have more things in common than, uh, than things that we disagree with. Kept the yuppies all staring. But they get out and go see shows and uh, encourage other people to go see shows. Greenville's a great city and there's a lot of cool stuff happening here. And there's a lot of great cool stuff happening in, in the music scene. But as much as the city is growing, the scene isn't growing. There's still, there's still cool stuff happening, but there's not, I think, more cool stuff than was happening like eight or 10 years ago when the city was a lot smaller. Um, so I think we got to keep going out to shows and we, we kind of have to keep, uh, uh, you know, spreading the word about stuff, let people know what's going on, you know. We just saw the moonlight on the 4th of July. I, mean, I, I guess the new baby giraffe, just because it's a baby. Got to go with the baby. But if another baby gets born at that zoo, different species, that species will be my new favorite. My, my go-to answer is Arrested Development, but it did come back, you know? I, I think, um, man, what else has gone away that should have that should have stuck around? I will always watch any new season of Curb Your Enthusiasm. Um, look away, look away, look away, Dixieland. Uh, my guitar's name is Widowmaker. Um, <laughs> a lot of musicians give their uh, instruments names and make it sound like it's a leggy blonde or something. But, you know, this is my second Takamini, and uh, they just they make a nice guitar. They, they play really well right off the shelf. I haven't had anything special done to it. I wore a hole in it. Um, but, you know, that was just from hours and hours and hours of playing. That wasn't uh, an aesthetic choice necessarily. My guitars aren't precious. Uh, people see this because this is what I play with on stage and obviously it's really worn. They're like, oh, that must be your guitar that you've had since you were like 16. And this is like four years old, <laughs> this guitar. So this is my, my newest guitar, really. Um, but uh, I, I log a lot of hours.